We have our design brief, which includes the set requiring a hallway off stage, meaning not used as a performance space, a kitchen, living room, bathroom, once again off stage, a bedroom, and finally an outdoor balcony. Well, that's a lot to fit on a small stage. Let's see how we go. We'll mark out the main set walls to begin with. Then the areas will place the various rooms required. Let's build those walls. Oh dear, I think you can already see we're going to have a problem with these walls highlighted in red. Hmm, definitely not good for sight lines. In fact, terrible, as most of the set is completely obscured for at least half the audience. And of course, no one can see into the bedroom at all. So what can we do? Well, let's take out this wall for a start. Then we can push this wall back to open up that space a bit more. Still a little masking on the balcony side and definitely a no-go for the bedroom. So let's use the magic of theatre to cut away those walls and really open it up. Now these areas marked in red will still have a little bit of masking, especially for the audience sitting on the right hand side of the stage. We'll make a note to the director to keep the main action out of these areas. Actors can still pass through them, just not perform any major dialogue or such there. Let's add our masking flats and give it a paint. We'll dress the set, adding the furniture and some of the props used. To dress the bathroom and give it a more realistic look, we've added a small vanity. It doesn't have to work as the actors won't use it. It's really only there for show. And with the hallway, we've added a wall light to give the space some depth. You could add a side table, some flowers, a fish tank, whatever suits the play. There, and that's our finished set. Let's pop some actors in there for perspective. And not forgetting our stage lighting. Next time on Let's Talk About Theatre, we'll look at split level sets. <laughs>